Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review out and swatches of the Lunatic Cosmetics Lab Contour Book Palette. I purchased mine myself. It retails for $75. I waited until there was a coupon code, so I saved like 20% on mine. The packaging is a little bit on the creepy side because it's Lunatic Cosmetics Labs, but I do actually really like it. It has like a little eye. On the back it tells you what the ingredients are and what each of the shades are. You do get a mirror on the inside and then on the flip side, which y'all are waiting for to see, is all of the contour, blush, and highlighting shades. I honestly do really enjoy this palette. Couple things to know is that you can't set or bake with these powders. I've tried, it just, the powder kinda sticks to your skin so it will last all day. It won't just wipe away. It still blends really easily into the skin. You can get a very natural chiseled cheek with this. Your eyes, you can do your eyeshadow with this. It's just very multi-purpose. It is a lot of money, but when you break it down, it's about $6.25 a pan. So that's cheaper than the new Makeup Geek Contour, that's cheaper than a lot and a lot of brands. That's basically breaking it down to drugstore prices or cheaper since as we all have noticed drugstore prices even are going a lot higher nowadays. I especially love this because I have such pale skin I can actually do highlighting on my skin. Before it was like no matter what highlight I used it would be meant for someone with medium skin and I would never be able to but this has a matte white. If you don't want to use a white to highlight you could use the banana shade which isn't a true yellow it does have a lot more white base in it so it blends more naturally at least into my skin tone and then if you want you can be like me and just mix the two together you have a whole bunch of really cool tones to contour with which is what you're actually supposed to contour with you have some warm tones that actually still contour they seem a little bit more like bronzers in a pan these three but they do still contour fairly well on their own and you have a whole row of blushes so you could just use this entire palette to do all of your contouring and sculpting needs as well as your eyeshadow look this is an all matte eye look with an all matte cheek. I could, if you wanted, actually use these tones to do your brows. I didn't really think about that until after. All I did was after I finished filming the demo, I put a little bit of mascara on and I did my lips. And the lip I used was ColourPop Stingray. I mean, obviously my cheeks naturally don't look like this. They don't have this much sculpt to them, but it does still blend naturally so it doesn't look like I have a really harsh contour going on. I waited months and months and then I bought it on my own because I was like Christmas treat to myself. And what happened is I basically been using this every single day to do my contour. Whether I just use the highlight shades or the contour shades, I find that it does last all day especially when it's on my contour. The highlight throughout the day doesn't last as well depending on what concealer you use but as long as you set it before going in with these highlight shades under your eyes you should be fine if you're having trouble blending and you own this just make sure you set everything that's the major thing I've noticed with this otherwise it all blends really well the shade range is actually just the best if you want to compare this to like the Anastasia contour kit that's 40 for 6 so with that logic you'd be about 80 for 12 so this is a little bit cheaper in comparison to the Anastasia just in case you're wondering or want to put something to perspective to how much this costs. Since so this is a review swatch and demo I'm going to do swatches. First we have the matte white, the light grey, the dark cool grey and then another slightly more warm grey. In the middle we have the blushes, they are all pretty peach toned. I used the first one and the second to last one to do my cheeks today. And then at the very bottom we have the last row which is the more warm tones. We have the light banana shade. I did have to layer it up so it would show. And then we have the last three shades which are more warm tone but they still do work as contours on their own if you would like. I just prefer to use them as a base more like a bronzer. First, I'm going to do a very simple eye look. I'm going to start by running the matte yellow all over my lid. I'm going to 
slightly buff this matte contour shade into my crease. Now I'm going to go into this cool brown into my crease. Go back in and blend. I'm going to take the darkest, coolest shade in the palette. Of course, blend again. it's all matte I'm just gonna go ahead and brighten up the lid again this time with the stark white as well as under the brow bone Moving on to the rest of the face I'm going to mix the matte white and the matte banana shade just kind of pressing this under the eye. I already have foundation and powder and concealer on. You do not want to use this type of powder to set your makeup directly. Under that contour area really helps define and sharpen your contour. Usually all the highlighting I do, but other areas you can highlight are on the center of the forehead, nose, chin, cupid's bow. But then we get to the contour, there are a lot more options. On this side, we have more warm tones, which you would use more to bronze up. And then more specifically, you can go in with the cool tones to do a deeper, more intense contour. And then in the middle, there are blushes, which we'll get to later. To start, I'm going to take this lightest, warm toned contour. This is a large Coastal Sense fan brush. I'm just going to use this to make sure that I get an even, not too heavy amount all over my face. to be too precise. I'm taking this shade on a small brush to really define the areas. You want to make sure you go up to the eyebrow and also down along the sides as well as the tip. Done here, you'd be wrong. What you need to do is you make sure to blend this. If you left it like this, it would be very harsh and obvious. I'm just going to take a clean blending or buffing brush and just buff out that contour. It is time to do blush. I'm going to start with this one along the back of my cheeks. And then I'll take this really soft light color on the apples. bright light so you can really see. Here's what the look looks like without all the really harsh lighting. So if you want to see what it really looks like, I mean the contour still looks pretty much the same. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Until next time, bye!